Hey guys, it's A Canuck here for No Way In Team, your number one source for awesome. I also got A Bomb here. Hey, what's up, guys? And today we're gonna do a strategies video because, well, we're having some pretty good rounds out there in the Black <laughs> Ops 2 universe, and this is one of mine. And we're also gonna talk strategy. So as you saw there, we dive. start this game with the smoke. Not enough people play smoke. Yeah, it's a it's a totally underrated uh, piece of equipment, and uh, the biggest single factor is a lot of people tend to just drop it right on top of what they're trying to capture. But that's not the right way to use it. When you're using smoke, you want to close off the uh, the you know the entryways and the exits to the area they're trying to cap. If you're trying to cap B, don't throw the smoke on B. Someone's gonna walk in. People are gonna be firing right on B anyway. So make sure you get that smoke up ahead of you so that you see them emerge from the smoke and you're in a shooting position, but you're still covered in the interim. Or do what I did and throw the smoke ahead and fire like a freaking Nancy like crazy <laughs> uh, and get the lightning strike also straight away. But yeah, you can use smoke offensively and defensively. Absolutely. It's just if you play it smart. And again, I don't just, I don't see it enough. Mm -hmm. If you'll notice in this match, me and Abom are actually the only ones to use it. And it's the difference between winning and losing this match. Now, I have a great round here, but this is just to show you that you don't have to be a camping whore to get a high score. No. This is PTFO the entire time, yep. and this is how the game should be played. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and, and there's going to be somebody that says, like, oh, well, you sat around B the whole time. Yeah, that's the idea, folks. Cap C or Cap A, whatever your spawn zone is, get on B and make sure you hold it down. That's how you win in domination. There's nothing wrong with that. That is that is what PTFO is to the max. And there's a reason here that you'll notice that Canucks pulling in the kill streaks like mad because you play the objective and you rack up score so fast in this game. It really is. It's insane, uh, especially when you're capping B early. Um, you can you can get uh, through you know two or three it, depending on what your kill streaks are set yeah. at. You can literally get to your third uh, score streak item in just the first you know first 20 30 seconds if you're going for B and you get a kill or two. It's amazing how that score adds up. Now I did venture away from B every now and then just to keep contributing again to the team, but uh, you don't have to play with high score streaks. I rarely do. Uh, one is it's really hard to get to them. Uh, you have to be a pretty solid player, and if you'll notice. Feel free to go online, watch the epic gameplays with 151 to 1 score, and they're missing one thing, and that's PTFO. They're just they're ignoring the objective. Yep. They're getting tons of score streaks, and congratulations, good for you. Mm -hmm. It's like playing for the Moab and in Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, it's exactly. And you know, and we'll give uh, we'll give credit where credit is due. If if you know if their teams are winning consistently because of because they're just mowing down the opponents, that's you know that's still of a benefit. Um, but it drives me crazy. Uh, when you're playing in a public round and uh, you know even somebody on your own team that's got a really solid KD, they got a really nice score going, but then you see their their uh, their caps and defends and they've got no they got one or no captures and uh, you know they'll have a handful of def like I remember one guy in particular he had 38 kills, he had one cap and two defends. Only two defends and 38 kills. Like come and and we lost. And guess what? Because there are people that are not playing an objective and not helping the team win and that's just selfish and ruins it for everybody. So if you're again, if you're playing, yeah, I mean, one of my favorite maps, it was built properly for this type of gameplay, or type of game type, is that you can really work as a team. As you saw at the beginning, it was already figured out between me and A-Bomb who was going to go for that B position, who was going to throw smoke. You complement each other's uh, game style, and I just feel like a beast at this moment. <laughs> uh, it's just one of those things where two people, we feel that two people on playing domination can really turn the game. If you know what you're doing. This goes for the same thing on every map. Yeah, it's true. Um, I forget which, I don't know, a week or two ago where, uh, where we played a bunch of rounds together and there was just the two of us. We often play with, uh, with you know, our, the newest member of the A-team, AK. Um, so there's often three of us, which makes a huge difference. But uh, with just the two of us, we were able, we went on a, what, uh, like a easily 20-25 game win streak. Like it was non-stop there for a good long stretch. And it's just because uh, we're being careful to make sure that we know what we're doing before the round, what we're doing in the round, who, and who's Got, who's responsible for which uh, which point, especially in domination? We have different equipment. We have different kill streaks. If someone's running UAV, another guy's running counter, mm -hmm. and uh, guardian is your best friend in this game type. I just, <laughs> yes, it, it also blows my mind that there wasn't a lot of guardians in this gameplay. Yep. Yep. Plus, if you want to know if you're playing the objective and if your team sucks, check that scoreboard at the end. You'll see caps and defends. And it's pretty easy to single out who's being a D-bag. 
yeah, who's not doing it and who's moving forward and helping the team win. Uh, yeah, and so but I'm sure you, everybody knows about Guardians, but all we can say is use them because they they work fantastic. They're a low score streak. Doesn't take a whole lot to earn them, but uh, and especially when you start uh, going over your score streak a second, a third, and even a fourth time, like without dying, um, you slap down two or three Guardians and you make certain points on the map literally impenetrable. Because another another thing we'll point out here, not so much gameplay specific, but uh, but the Black Hat uh, the Black Hat PDA so useful yep. use it use it use it I don't see a lot of that um, at all so as you can see there that was uh, my main money round uh, we're, there's gonna be the second part of this round not as epic but it all contributes to the win so yeah dude that, that 17 defense is just outrageous <laughs> the 17 defense is where it's at so so yeah this part of the gameplay uh, I'm just gonna speed it up here it's uh there's no really amazing moments but as far as covering the rest of your strategies as you guys can see it works on both sides of the map we started exactly the same. The smoke went just ahead of the flag, and watch me cap this right here. It was a split second cap, but didn't get freaking nated. <laughs> but uh, flak jacket is what we run all the time when we're yeah, playing domination. Domination for sure. And it's your best friend of demolition. Yeah, because it's... nades just come in from everywhere. Oh man, it's infuriating when you uh, when you proceed through and you started from the bottom again. And you don't have flak jacket until I believe it's level 32. Oh man, it is so frustrating trying to cap without it. So make sure you're running it if you're playing domination. And the other biggest rule of domination is don't triple cap unless you're dominating the round. Yeah. It flips the spawns and drives everybody crazy. You can dominate a team by simply capping A and B or C and B and just slightly pushing their spawn so that you can keep racking up kills. Yeah, I can't exactly. stand it when some lone wolf Chachi thinks he's doing us all a favor <laughs> and goes around the whole thing and switches the spawn and then yeah. you get shot in the back. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, especially uh, since there's so many pieces of equipment in Black Ops 2 that help you defend uh, defend your back, that cover you, you know, whether it be, you know, uh, uh, the shock charges or beddies or claimers or whatever there's a lot of different options that help you maintain control um, and as soon as you lose uh, as soon as you lose that directional aspect you uh, you get in trouble real fast yeah I'm, I'm watching the gameplay right there check your corners people you give me easy kills when you don't check your corners <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so um, again we'll just fast forward this I'll show you the ending score it's not 150 in one <laughs> uh, but it's got us the win and uh, I remember this uh, this evening of gaming I think we won on a really solid 18 game win streak just because we we played it correctly oh yeah that's what it was yeah 18 yep. not the 2025 but yeah regardless again two people can make a big difference as long as you play it right guys so uh, get out there Enjoy the Black Ops 2, and uh, I hope your connections are doing well for you. Yeah, <laughs> let's uh, hope they get that fixed. Yes. All right, guys, see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to view some of our other videos. There is an older Tell Me I'm Wrong there, as well as a Drop Shop Tactical video that I did a while back, but still applies today. Otherwise, we'll catch you later on the next video.